welcome back to my channel and I am Nisha from Nisha's View and if this is your first time here thank you for joining and on this channel I talk about fashion and I talk about photography and today we are on the photography side and I've been doing this little series that I've um, been talking about lighting and lighting techniques and lighting modifiers. So this is part two of probably a part three or four part series that I'm doing on how different modifiers affect your lighting and your lighting and the lighting techniques of Rembrandt, um, Split and um, Butterfly and then my favorite clamshell. So in this video, we're gonna go over the lighting modifier, um, I'm, on, I'm going to be using a 33.4 uh, softbox, parabolic softbox from Glow, Glow Easy Lock. Glow Easy Lock, this is not sponsored. I bought all this stuff with my own money, okay? Let's just get that out of the way. It's not sponsored, all right? So yeah, I'm using Glow um, Easy Lock um, parabolic softbox as my modifier and I love using those because they're very easy to to snap into place on my my um, on my flash so yeah that's what I'm using in in the in this video and just to go through the lighting techniques that I talked about and just to show you how that modifier affects the light and so I like using the the 33.4 um, modifier size because it's good for if you're you know on location you don't know really how big or small the location is so it's just right so it's not too big it's not too small and you can actually get I can usually get maybe one or two people in there really good especially one person for sure you're going to get a lot of coverage um, light spread with that and then maybe two two people is good three may be pushing it a little bit but definitely it, it is a great modifier if you're just starting out if you're a beginner I definitely recommend it and yeah so in this next in the video coming up or in later on in the video I will be showing you how I use that modifier for some headshots so stay tuned and I'll see you after this fourth over. All right, so first off, we're going to start with a 33.4 inch Octabox from Glow Easy Lock. And I really like using this because it's really easy to use with my light. Um, I use the Flashpoint 300 Pro. And like I've said in a previous video, I love the light, so um, I'm stuck with it for now. <laughs> so yeah, um, it's real easy to use. And the Octabox comes with this diffuser, this white diffuser. It also comes with a grid that you can use, but I like to use the, the diffuser more so than the grid for what I'm using it for. So there, I'm just showing how it snaps into place. It's really easy, it's convenient, it's fast. If you're on the go, um, if you're doing on location type of, type of shoots, it's just really simple and easy to do. It just clicks right into your light and you will hear a little click once it's um, attached to your light. So there I'm just showing how it opens up and how you have the silver inside, the silver reflective covering, which is really good for if you're doing like beauty work or even like you use it for headshots. So yeah, I'm just Velcroing it together and we're gonna get ready to get into doing this shoot. So this is just how it looks. I'll set up with my light and everything. Um, yeah, like I said, it's really easy. It's simple to use. Um, I use a lot of glow modifiers. Um, I use it for, like I said, headshots, a lot of the beauty work. And it's simple, it's easy, it's convenient. And yeah, I like it. So here we're starting the, the shoot off and we're doing the first thing up is Rembrandt lighting. And as I've said before, just using this particular modifier, the 33.4 inch, um, it's going to give a little bit different light than the shoot through. In my part one, I talked about the shoot through. This one is an octabox or a softbox. So you're going to have the light being more contained. 
and yeah you're gonna have the lighting is gonna be a lot better um, to me so here the Rembrandt and of course like I said with the Rembrandt you want to look for that triangle under the eye and next up our next lighting technique is the split lighting um, I don't use split lighting too much it's a dramatic type of lighting and yeah I mean if you're looking for something dramatic and this this would definitely be what you want to use the split the split lighting technique yeah so it's just you're just splitting um, the model's face in half and yeah I don't use it too much and next up is butterfly lighting and I use this sometimes um, it's it it's use I could use it in doing headshots um, you could use it for headshots and like I said in the part one that the butterfly lighting technique you it creates a, a shadow up under the nose up under the eyes but what you're really looking for is that shadow up under the nose and it creates like a butterfly effect that you're wanting to see you can kind of see it and here of course you know the Beyonce fan is what I call it it just does something <laughs> extra for my models and for my clients and they love the Beyonce they love it but yeah as you could see there in the picture you just want to make sure that 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 shadow is under the nose and a lot of people use this still for like um headshots if you were looking for again a more dramatic type of headshot I wouldn't necessarily use this for like professional if you're doing like LinkedIn or you know some type of I guess um maybe a corporate type of a shot I wouldn't I wouldn't use butterfly just for that but in like creative shots you can definitely use butterfly and of course my favorite is the clamshell and this I like her listen you got to get you one of these you got to get an eye lighter and with this particular modifier the 33 inch it gives definitely a different look than the shoot through that we used and here I'm just explaining to her you know the reason for using um, this particular modifier and how different the pictures look from our shoot through and here again the Beyonce fan we gotta have the Beyonce fan you know it just gives a little something extra to the picture and they just they love it and I love it as well the highlighter is something that well clamshell in particular just makes your your pictures pop because you are um, filling in those shadows on the bottom all right so yeah that was it that was me showing you how I use the 33.4 glow easy lock parabolic um, modifier and softbox modifier and yeah it was really it's really simple and easy modifier to use um, I definitely recommend it like I said if you're just starting out and you want to get started with um, off flash off camera flash um, techniques and using modifiers it's really simple really simple to use and so yeah so that one you know as you've seen in the in the video I was just showing you how Rembrandt how to get Rembrandt how to get split how to do um, butterfly what to look for in those type of shots and clamshell and what I use them for so yeah that was that was it pretty much so in my next one I'm going to talk about um, some more modifiers actually I'm probably going to do one more one more video of modifiers and then I just you know incorporate them all and then really just show you side by side what each one actually look like so yeah that is all that I have for today. I hope you enjoyed um, my voiceover, my videos. I mean, if you have any questions, comments, whatever it is, definitely hit me in the comments. I love to talk about this type of stuff. And yeah, let's dialogue. Let's keep it going in the comments and tell me what modifiers you use, what lighting techniques do you use? And yeah, let's just keep it going. And as always, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for those who have been, you know, subscribing to me that have liked, comment, 
you know, all of that good stuff. And definitely, if you're still watching, you're here, go ahead. Give me a like, give me a follow, give me a subscribe, all of that good stuff. All right. And until next time, I'll talk to you and I'll see you then. Thanks Bye. for watching my GG channel. Period.